Warning, this channel and all games played are intended for a mature audience. If you are under the age of 13, you need to leave this channel now. Also, Redbeard is a total and you wouldn't like him anyway. If you are easily offended, you might as well get the hell out of here also. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel again. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a solo lobby and by solo lobby it's going to be permanent but also not just a solo lobby where there's no one else in it that you can do this by yourself you don't need any friends i know there's some videos out there which there's still good videos but you need friends to help you out to do it and this one you can do this completely by yourself there's only a couple qualifications you need for it one you need to have the trader role and two you need to actually have your supplies for the trader role at a halt or you need to do a resupply mission so those are only two things you need to do. This is extremely easy to do. So let's just get into it real quick. So as you can see, I have my camp spawn, which I know a lot of people have issues with the camp spawning. So once you do get your camp spawn, this is gonna help you out a ton. Now I do have a video out right now. If you look at the top right of this video and in the description on your, how you're able to get five Panthers uh, within about 25 minutes. Now that'll fill your camp up 90%. So it's faster than just doing a solo lobby by yourself. But if you want to be in a solo lobby so you can do tons of other different things on top of just, you know, filling up your camp. A lot of people would like to just play the game where they don't got to worry about people griefing them and stuff on top of it. So this is going to help you out. So go ahead and just head over to Crips at your table right here. And let's go ahead and go right here. And you'll see the production is halted. Now what you want to do is you'll start a resupply mission. And you're going to let the clock run out. So let's go ahead and just start the resupply mission right now. And Crips will go through his little spiel here, running his mouth. And as you can see, I dressed him like an idiot because he's an idiot. So let's let him just go through the animation right here. And I'm going to try to just do this all in one cut so you guys can see you can do this. Now, sometimes people said the first try, they haven't got it. Um, I've tried it three times right in a row and I've got it every single time. So I think it's just, you know, hit and miss a little bit here and there. So, so you can see the resupply is right there. So you can see we have 11 minutes. Now, you know, within about 10 minutes, if you do not move your character around, you'll time out of the session. But make sure while you're waiting for this to run out, you do move your controller around a little bit. Not just so much the camera, but do move your guy around. Sometimes if you only move the camera, you'll still time out. So let's go ahead and I'm going to speed up the footage right here, but I won't cut from here so you can see what we're going to do. We're not going to let the timer run out completely. Before it runs out, I want to head back over to Crips table. Okay, so as you can see, the timer is getting close to a minute. And if I look at the players list, you'll see right now, I am in a lobby of 23 people. So what we need to do is head back over to the crypts table. And uh, let's go ahead and head through here real quick before the time runs out. And now what you're gonna do is go ahead and just go over top of where it says production. And we're gonna wait for the time to run out. And as soon as the time goes to run out, you have the option to start resupply mission again. So that's what we're going to be looking for. So when there's about 10 seconds uh, left, go ahead and just get yourself ready so you don't let the timer run out um, and not be ready to start it right back up again. So here we go, three, two, one. And then the option will pop back up again right here. Let's say mission over. As soon as it does, go ahead and just start it right back again. Crips will go back into his animation again, talking like he did before. So we'll just wait for this to run out. So he'll go ahead and walk away. Now on this time, you won't get the black screen where it fades to start the mission. And as you can see, it's not doing a resupply mission whatsoever. Now what you wanna do, I don't know if it works. I know everybody does it anyway. Go ahead and go to the left on the D-pad, go to online options. And just turn matchmaking off. I don't know if it makes a difference, but you know, it make, might make you feel better. Uh, but right now, as you can see, I'll go ahead and pull up the players list right now. And you can see I'm in a 100% solo lobby. It will stay this way completely. Now, the only thing that will change if you try to do any kind of missions. So that includes bounties, stranger missions, moonshine missions, anything that's going to possibly pull you out of this lobby, just like it normally would with any other lobby that you'd be in. So with this, you could freely just go and hunt anywhere. All the animal spawns will be heavy like they used to be. 
and uh, it'll stay like this permanently as long as you don't do any missions or anything like that whatsoever. And you can see there's just tons of pronghorn just right here outside of my camp. Um, only had to go about 10, you know, 15 seconds away and there's just tons of them all over the place right here. And then all throughout tall trees, you got the elk and everything as well. Just like it used to be before, even in the beta days and stuff. So anyway, guys, I know this will help you guys out. What's cool about it, even random events and stuff actually still appear. As you can see in the, on the mini map, there's a moonshine one over there. Even the little stranger ones and stuff even pop up. So it's a fully functioning lobby. Like I said, on the, other than just not doing any of the missions, you're good to go. So I appreciate it if you give the video a like. It helps out the channel. Also, too, make sure to subscribe and click that bell notification if you haven't already subbed to the channel. So anytime videos come out, you get notified right away. As always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.